I am just feeling so low and so drained and exhausted and I even debated whether to get on camera and talk about this but I feel like a lot of mums probably go through it. Good morning! Please excuse the wet patch where I just washed my face but it is first thing in the morning. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, what time is it? It's like maybe 8 o'clock in the morning. Isn't that right? She tends to wake up anywhere from about 6am to like 8, sometimes even 9am. Just depends on how tired she is and what we've been up to and stuff. And also what time she went to bed as well. But yeah, I forgot to vlog yesterday. So today is Tuesday. Oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> Can you tell? I feel a bit flustered and everything. I'm so tired. But um, I could not sleep last night. I had so many ideas going through my brain. But yeah, I just couldn't sleep. And also I'm trying to transition her into her cot. Like we've been co-sleeping since she was born and she's now four months old. And I feel like now is the time to try and transition her into her cot because my back is just getting so painful. We've having to constantly like sleep around her and protect her in the night and stuff. And then I'm not really sleeping deep enough because I'm conscious of the fact that she's in the bed and trying to make sure that she's safe and everything. So I just think now is just the time. Like I managed to put her in her cot last night three times. And that's the first night I've ever done that. And she slept in it for about 45 minutes the first time. And then I mean, I've written it all down in my notes app because I want to track it and like keep a track of what's happening and the progress that we're making because my brain has too many things going on for me to remember. But I know that the first one was 45 minutes. So she did so, so well. But it's just obviously like a stressful thing to consciously wake up and make sure that you lift her up and put her in it. And then like, it's just a lot. <laughs> and I'm also trying to get her on a nap schedule as well because I've been noticing that she's been extra fussy lately. Haven't you, baby? And I'm realizing, oh, it's actually because she's really tired and I haven't been tracking her naps before. Like with newborns, they just sleep so much. I didn't bother tracking it or anything I would just watch her cues see when she looked tired and then put her down and now I'm realizing like no I need to be more strategic and on the ball with this I need to track it <laughs> because she's getting over tired and then she won't sleep and then I end up letting her stay up longer and then she's just grumpy so like she's not getting enough sleep are you baby so now we're gonna track you with your nap schedule and make sure she gets enough sleep and I did that yesterday and honestly, it was like a different baby. It was literally like she was a different person because she was just so much happier when it came to awake time and like playing and stuff. She actually like wanted to play rather than just putting her down to play and then her crying immediately where she was tired. So it's just been like a completely different baby. I can't believe that that's what it was. I thought maybe it was like teething or something. And that probably is a part of it because she wants to munch on everything. But I definitely think tiredness was making her feel miserable wasn't it baby and now you seem so much happier so yeah i'm gonna have to keep a track of that every day and in my online planner thing i use like a a planner on um, good notes and i just end up recreating it into my own thing because that's just the way that i am but i've created like a little table chart thingy on there for my weekly plan so I'm recording this week's worth of naps and then I may copy it over to the next week and do the same thing again for next week we're just gonna see how it goes I always change things as I go so yeah we're gonna see what her naps are like and roll with it there I'm even debating moving this music equipment out of this room because my mum is going to be doing up her house we're living with my mum while we save for a mortgage and she's doing up her house like getting the builders in doing an extension and knocking the whole downstairs open plan like she's doing major major works to the house soon and we're also going to get a music studio aren't we baby we're gonna get a music studio so this stuff will be going in that but it's probably gonna be like a year or so maybe even two years before all of the works are done and I don't know when the studio is gonna be done within that time so I'm debating whether to move this 
into like the garage or something but because we've made our own little booth let me show you let me show you this it's like it's nothing fascinating we just literally carpeted this cupboard and stuck the mic in there and then like made a hole <laughs> up the top i don't know if you can see that for the wires so like the fact that we've done that makes me not want to move it out of this room because it's finally like an enclosed space for the mic but then at the same time Zari's taking her naps in here and she sleeps in here with us so like and she's not likely to go in her own room for at least two more months so I'm like do I move it out of here so then during her naps I can go in the garage and make music I don't really know what to do and that's why I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about all of this <laughs> like honestly my brain goes on overdrive but yeah so I'm just trying to decide what to do because normally we do a lot of contact naps where she loves to be on me, don't you baby? So she would nap in my arms and it meant that she didn't get a deep enough sleep. She would only nap for about half an hour-ish and then sometimes she wouldn't nap at all. And like I said, I wouldn't force her. So I, like, I wouldn't rock her to sleep. I would just kind of let her stay awake. And now I'm like, nope, it's nap time. Let's rock you to sleep. And then side lay and feed on the bed. And then I just leave her there and I bought a um, monitor thing to like watch her and make sure she's okay. And it's one with audio as well. So when I'm downstairs, I can hear if she wakes up. See, she's rubbing her eyes now already. So I'm like, oh, her first nap needs to be a lot earlier than what I used to do. I used to leave her awake for like two hours. And I'm seeing that she's tired after only half an hour to an hour of being up. So maybe your first nap needs to be a lot, lot sooner than what I was doing honestly like everything is just learning as you go it's major trial and error but i kind of feel bad <laughs> because you literally just don't know what you're doing and it's like an experiment or something it's bloody ridiculous but yeah today what would today be today would be elemental mirror kind of day there's things i need to print off and i couldn't figure out how to get the printer to work so i'm going to try and do that and possibly make jewelry that I need to make. Oh, I also got an order as well of a crystal, so I need to do the shipping and everything for that and send that off. <sighs> There's so much to do and so little time. But now that she's napping out of my arms, I'm able to do a bit more. Otherwise, when she was in my arms, I was just stuck at my computer the whole time and I would just do stuff on there while she's in my arms. But now that she's out of my arms for at least an hour of a nap, that's what we managed yesterday, I managed to get her to nap three times and one of them was two hours but she spent one of those hours attached to me so <laughs> we're just learning as we go but yeah now that I'm able to put her down I might be able to make music during the day rather than waiting for Ben and only doing an hour in the evening you know we're just gonna see so we're gonna roll with it we'll see what happens I don't really know I'm just unloading all of my thoughts on you yeah yeah, we're gonna go feed you and possibly even do your first nap. And have some breakfast, I haven't eaten yet either. So we're gonna go do that and then start this day and see what happens because I don't know what order anything's gonna happen in. I also, as you can tell, need to tidy up. But because she was napping in here, I wasn't able to. So oh, we're gonna figure it out. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, today is not a good day for me. I've gone in my bathroom because I've just got Azaria down for a nap. It's her first nap of the day and I am just feeling so low and so drained and exhausted and I even debated whether to get on camera and talk about this but I feel like a lot of mums probably go through it and it's just one of those days where I'm just empty and like taking care of somebody else gets so hard when I feel drained, do you know what I mean? Like I just have nothing to give and I'm just like, oh, please just go to sleep. And she just didn't want to sleep even though she kept rubbing her eyes and was really tired. So it's taken a good hour or so to get her to sleep and I'm just exhausted. And yeah, there's so much on my to-do list to get done and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't even know, it's just one of them days. But I spoke to my mum about it and she was like, you probably just need a break. And I think, yeah, when I go consistent of like 
day in day out looking after her trying to look after myself trying to work and film videos and make music and stuff without a break I just end up burning out and yeah I feel like that is what's happening because I don't really have breaks at all like we've had one two hour break where my mum looked after her for two hours so me and Ben could go on like a date sort of day it was our first and only one in the four months that she has been born and apart from that like Ben will watch her for an hour here and there like a few times a week so that I can go make music or so that I can shower or so that I can do housework which is not really a break because it's not really a rest. It's so that I can do something else that's like house related, chores, that kind of thing. So I'm just constantly doing stuff and just hitting exhaustion today. And I couldn't sleep last night either. So I feel like that's probably what's made it worse is that now I'm like, oh, she won't sleep today and I'm just tired. And I'm like resisting life of like I don't want it to be like this right now you know I don't want this at the minute but it is what it is and I'm just obviously you can't just switch off being a mum you have to carry on you have to carry on looking after your child and making sure they're okay and everything but when you're exhausted and you're burning out and you just want to cry <laughs> you know it's just like a lot just a lot so today feels like a lot one of those days and hopefully, now that she's actually sleeping, instead of me going and doing the million things on my to-do list, I'm just going to go and stretch my body and try and recharge a little bit because I am absolutely exhausted. And I am quite tired as well because I couldn't sleep last night, but I'm not going to go to sleep. I thought about napping with her, to be fair. <laughs> but I'm going to go stretch my body and just recharge and oh, drink my fruit fresh fruit juice and just yeah you know honestly I'm so exhausted but yeah <laughs> what is life and for a walk with glamour hi <laughs> hi it is the next day because yesterday was just not the one for me i wasn't feeling it <laughs> So yeah, I tried to sort out a printer for my Elemental Mirror brand. I wanted to print some thank you cards and I just could not get the printer to work whatsoever because the card that I'm printing on is a lot thicker than normal paper and yeah, it just was not happening. So I had to just abandon it for now, go back to it later on and uh, what else did I do? Got Zari down for several naps. Um, I don't even know, I was in such a bad mood, like honestly everything was just stressing me out, I was being real snappy and just uh. But then this morning I woke up in a much much better mood, even though I still haven't had that much sleep because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I woke up at like 4am, which is around when Ben goes to work and I had to like change her nappy in the night and she woke up with me doing that and she just could not go back to sleep. Like she laid there in her cot. I put her in her cot even though she was awake and she just laid there like talking to herself. It was the cutest thing ever. And like laughing and stuff. So, and she like wriggled around her cot and ended up the complete opposite way around to where I laid her down. You know, like she spun all the way around and just like wriggling and stuff. Proper cute. But yeah, so I was awake. <laughs> I just like, just vlogging mum. <laughs> <laughs> I just laid there um, like listening and closed my eyes and stuff and obviously I couldn't get back to sleep and then I started thinking about my scheduling and stuff so still couldn't get back to sleep but that's okay and I had to take the car in this morning to the, to the garage like to Mercedes um, so I got up before Zari did to be fair which is probably the first time that has ever happened since she was born so yeah it was an early start this morning and then I had to just like wake her up, like pick her up and put her in the car seat to take her with me. So she ended up waking up when I did that as well. I tried not to wake her, but it's kind of impossible with that girl. So yeah, that's what happened. Let me just check the monitor. She's all good. So um, she's down for a nap now. It is like 12 o'clock. We've been to the post office. What else have we done? Took the car in. I've done so many chores today. 
and sorted out the wash and had so many clean clothes to put away so I've done all of that and now I'm just going to update my journal and like my planner because I came up with a much better routine for myself so that I can fit music in a lot more because normally I would wait for Ben to get home and then he would watch her for like an hour so I could go and make music and now that she's napping consistently I'm feeling like I want to do it a bit more often and do it while she's napping and stuff so I'm planning on moving furniture around later when Ben gets home he can help me and yeah we're gonna move the music studio stuff out of our bedroom finally which is something I wanted to do for the longest time because it's just really annoying it being in our space so we're gonna move that out and then I also want to get the like shelves down from the loft as well like get Ben to do that of course <laughs> so then I'm gonna turn that into her toy box because she's now got so many toys and they're just everywhere and it's getting on my nerves so that is the plan for today and then tomorrow I can start the proper schedule where I make music and stuff I also have videos to edit I have a podcast to record I have social media content to create like little Instagram videos and TikToks and stuff and then schedule those out so like there's always so much that I could be doing and we're also going away this weekend we're actually away every weekend throughout August. So the next like four weekends we're away, which is quite a lot. Oh no, actually one of them we're back here, but then we've got family coming around, we've got a big party happening and stuff. So we're still busy that weekend, even though we're at home. So yeah, it's a, it's a lot going on, but that's all right. We don't mind. It's cool to be social sometimes, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna journal and adjust my planner for this whole month and then we're gonna see what happens what time she wakes up and stuff we will see It is Thursday and half 11 and we have been so productive this morning haven't we Zari? Um, she's had her first nap done, I've been following my new routine of everything and it just feels so much better. We're about to go to the park, I'm going to take her to play on the swings and everything like that so yeah. <laughs> We've also organised like a toy box space for her. And today, what I also need to do is move all of this studio equipment into the other room and take my microphone out of there and move that into the other room as well because I'm finding I just don't have time to make music when she's napping in here. So until she starts moving into her own room, we're gonna definitely need to move the music studio out of here. So that's what we're gonna do a bit later, but first we're gonna go to the park and then she'll go down for another nap and then during her awake time I'll be able to move that because she'll be napping in here so I can't really move it when she's in here asleep but during her next awake time after this one I can then 
move all of that stuff and let her sit in her seat and play with her toys. So that's what we're gonna do. She's just playing with a teddy bear right now on the bed. And yeah, so I'm all ready and we're gonna go. But no, I am not taking this light and microphone with me. I just take my phone because we're not trying to do that, okay? <laughs> no, thank you. Look at the big trees, baby. back home from the park I am just sitting down to do my company accounts because they're gonna be due in a couple of months and with how busy I am and stuff taking care of a baby I figured let's just get a head start on it I've scheduled into my calendar like set days where I can do it so I don't fall behind on that but yeah Zari is back down for another nap so I'm gonna sit here and do that I'm also cooking some lunch I'm stupidly bought some bananas to have like snack on apples and bananas chop chop and i bought bananas for it but i didn't buy apples for it like what an idiot <laughs> so i'm not gonna have that for lunch i'm gonna cook something instead and yeah we're just gonna do these company accounts while she has her nap and then when she wakes up i'm gonna put her in her seat to play obviously feed her and stuff first but then put her in her seat to play and move this desk and all of the music studio stuff into the other room so that is my task for today and yeah we're gonna get on with these wonderful company accounts i'm not gonna lie though i do love a spreadsheet like it's a little bit boring but i actually have a thing for spreadsheets <laughs> i have one for all of my social media content as well so i can keep track of what i've got and when i posted it and if i've posted it kind of thing so yeah i've got a spreadsheet for everything <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> but my baby's awake <laughs> <laughs> yep. Liam, not seeing wrestling live. Come to the live podcast right before you'll find anywhere you get your tickets at Not Sam Live at Detroit House of Comedy, 5 p.m. on SummerSlam Saturday, August 5th. Google it if you don't believe me. I'm
get straight Even though the time pays, I guess I keep my brain sane I guess I'm in the lottery uh, A couple bullets follow me, a couple haters hitting on my trees But they don't bother me, cause they can send for me Try ending me, but I just take the send a stupid guy like Gollum He can't hear nobody stopping me, I guess he's just a dog in me McGregor with the flow, so I'm trying to make the color be If I wanna rock a beat, send it from a fucky thing It means I got a drop to leave a losing in my policy Sometimes I don't 